This is one of the best Tunnel 13 attack strategies for 3 stars, featuring a Super Archer Blimp and Mass Super Barbarian plus heroes to 3 star any base. So let's use the fundamentals, army comp, and a live attack from yours truly to fully grasp the strategy. So with this army comp, it is very flexible with the use of the Super Barbarians to clear out buildings and create a funnel for your heroes, alongside having the Apprentice Warden to support your heroes and give them high aim. HP. Other than this, the spells are used specifically to help the Super Archer Blimp be extremely effective, and the Clan Castle is basically your Super Archer Blimp. It's going to gut the core of the base. So keep a hold of this army as you will need it for later. It's a super easy and flexible army, just as easy as subscribing and ringing the bell to see more quality content like this. So let's use this base as an example for the strategy. You first want to start by looking at the town hall. The town hall is still an important structure and removing it with the Super Archer Blimp can be insanely valuable. This does allow you to run around the base with your heroes without having to worry about the town hall still being up. Another important thing about looking at the town hall is where you want to angle your blimp. Since the battle blimp goes for the town hall, thus meaning it might be beneficial to see where that town hall is, whether it's in the center or offset, more on the outside. Next, you want to look at the eagle placement, the scattershot placement, and the inferno tower placement. These are typically away from the town hall, but within range of the core. This gives your super archers that much needed value, so you want to look for as many of them as you can. So not only just bombing the core, but trying to get as many of those key defenses down. This will give you the most value and will make it much easier for your heroes and the super barbarians as they go through. Now that we've identified where we want to drop the blimp in, let's go ahead and start with the super archer blimp. Using five to six balloons to start is incredibly important, as this will allow the Grand Warden to follow them and get a little bit deeper into the base. Using the Grand Warren ability just before the blimp leaves his aura, this will allow you to have a lot more time from that Grand Warren ability, allowing you to guarantee that drop spot that you want. So when you reach it, you can use one invisibility and then pop the blimp. Then go ahead and use a rage, two clone, and another invisibility spell to continue that super archer blimp. After this, every subsequent invisibility spell is going to be every four seconds. So this should be just before the previous one expires. This will give you the most amount of value when you're running the super archer blimp. But there are some things that will harm it. For instance, an Electro Titan CC, a very common way to defend uh, blizzards or even super archer blimps. So timing your spells is incredibly crucial as it will make it to where the Electro Titan is not necessarily going towards your super archers after your Grand Warden dies. Other than this, the Barbarian King or high HP CC troops like the Electro Titan can completely distract the super archers since they have so much HP. You just want to be very careful of these things because you only have five invisibility spells. It's especially true if they're not locked onto defenses and rather a high HP unit. So either you want to turn those CC troops or King invisible or look for a better spot that isn't within range of them targeting the Barbarian King. Once you used the last of your invisibility spells, it's time for the Super Barbarians and the Hero Cleanup. Of course, before you actually send your heroes in, I'd recommend using either a Baby Dragon or some Super Barbarians to create the funnel beforehand. This is going to help get your heroes to go in the right direction that you want. Typically, with your heroes, you want to go for any leftover key defenses, such as the Scatter Shots, Eagle Artillery, and Inferno Towers. The Eagle, if it's still up, is a heavy threat and you should prioritize it. Of course, your heroes can easily work through the base with the help of those Super Barbarians, so you want to save them to create the funnel and clear out buildings as much as you need to. Pretty much, they are incredibly good using them sparingly and not just spamming them all around the base. You can use Super Wall Breakers 
to really open up the base, especially if it's a bit more closed off. This allows you to get your heroes to move through the base quite consistently. However, being patient is the name of the game. You want to make sure that you're not just spamming them because sometimes they're, they'll just target the outside walls and get no value. Other than this, your super barbarians are just being used around the base. From this point though, you can send in your royal champion on the back end. It's very important to clear out other remaining defenses such as scatter shots or even inferno towers and you can really allow your super barbarians to clean up behind as realistically there shouldn't be too much left and if you have any leftover super barbarians you can just go ahead and target a compartment with them as they should be able to open the wall by themselves in a large group. This should allow you to swiftly move through for a consistent three star with the super barge. So let's do one live so we can go through more of the details alongside my attack planning. So we're going to go ahead and start off with six balloons right here alongside the Grand Warden. Hold the battle blimp and now we'll use the battle blimp. And just before it leaves the aura, let's go ahead and use the Warden ability. We're gonna pop this blimp right here so we're gonna use invisibility pop that battle blimp drop in a rage another invisibility two clones and we can just let the super archers go upon their work just timing these every four seconds right there we should get the other scatter shot and let's use one more surprisingly we still have our warden and now he's gone and there we go all right so I was going to use a baby dragon right here. I'll also use a super barbarian to kind of help. And I'm going to go and drop in my ice golem, king, queen, apprentice warden. Use another super barbarian over here. And let's use a wall breaker. Another couple super barbarians. And let's use a headhunter. Use another ice golem here. And we're going to open the wall right behind the inferno. So let's see. Use another one. Yep. Let's use our king ability. Throw out more of these buildings right here. Fortunately, we let's see. There we go. Use two more, two of our headhunters to help the royal champion. You just use keep, just keep using more of these. Um, I think we're fine. I'm gonna go ahead and use my. Yeah, I'm gonna use my queen ability right there. Throw out more buildings all around. Use our Royal Champion Seeking Shield. Use a Super Wall Breaker here and one here. Our heroes are pretty low. Probably because we didn't manage them too well. But we do have still have 11 Super Barbarians. I'm going to send the rest of them in. And this should be enough to 3 star even. Even though we lost our Royal Champion and our Queen's down on red. We're still able to get this done nicely done here for us just saving up those super barbarians but it just goes to show just how good this can be it's a very very good army that can three star very very consistently so definitely if i were you i'd really try out this army this is one army that you will love especially with how easy it is thank you to my channel members for supporting the channel if you want to join channel memberships just click the join icon right next to my channel name. If you also want another easy strategy, click on this IC5 video right here and I'll see you there.